Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Diary of an Inner Fat Girl. Today I'm actually going to be making like a spicy basil Thai-ish cauliflower fried rice and I'm going to be using prawns. So I'm just going to introduce all of my ingredients. So the first thing we have is our mixed veg. That's going to go on the side, sauteed with broccoli, cabbage, and mushrooms. So we have our onions, uh, ginger, garlic. Then we have our spring onions, um, peas, and our carrots. Then this is uh, you know, this is the main part of the menu. We have our cauliflower, which we're going to rice. We have our two eggs and we have our fish. So with our fish, what I did was I marinated it earlier on, or maybe a couple hours ago. So I'm going to do the egg first. I'm just going to put a little salt and pepper. And a little pepper. So yeah, just mix it around. So I'm actually just gonna put the egg. That's done. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more coconut oil in. But if you know you're on a weight loss journey, you have to be very careful with your oil. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of onion, a little garlic, and a little bit of um, ginger. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add my prawns immediately. As you can see, they cook really quickly. So I'm just going to put some salt and pepper and that's all. And the reason I'm not putting too much more than that um, is just because it's still going to absorb the flavors um, from the fried rice once I'm done making it. Once they're pink, they're good to go and I'm just going to join it, put it with the eggs. So um, if you have a blender or if you have a food processor, either one is great um, for this, but I will tell you. For cauliflower rice, I would recommend a food processor. So in goes the cauliflower. Okay, so here we go. Perfect. So I'm just going to empty the rice back out into this bowl. So first things first, we're going to add a little bit of um, a little bit of coconut oil. So the first thing, now that the oil's hot. We're just gonna go ahead and throw in all the onions, all the ginger, all the garlic. And I actually do put my spring onions in now. I know people use it as garnish, but I'm not about that, okay? We're gonna start off with salt. So the first thing I'm going to add, let me see, five spice, Chinese five spice. I like buying the natural ones from, um, you can find them in most supermarkets. Um, this is basil because I'm making basil um, fried rice today and then I put some curry in as well. I love curry. This one is my non-Maggi Maggi, which is basically because I wanted to stop using Maggi, I kind of created my own seasoned salt, which I'll go into details about in, in another episode. And I can, you can see that the color is starting to take shape. And so now I'm going to add... Ooh, I'm going to add my um, carrots and my um, peas. And the last thing I'm going to add, sesame oil. And I'm just putting a little bit. And you know, with sesame oil, you really need to be conservative because it can make your food bitter if you don't know how to use it properly. Finally, I'm using something called shito. This is a Ghana, a Ghanaian uh, dish. I just put shito in everything. It's like my Cameroon pepper. I think it's really, really delicious. And I'm just gonna add a little bit now and I'll add a little bit more later. So I've mixed all of those things in. So now you can see that all the vegetables that are going into the fried rice are getting cooked. So while it's cooling down now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my cauliflower. Or on my cauli rice, should I say. And so what I always do is I don't add everything at once, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and add my prawns and my eggs. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my shito. Then I'm going to put some... 
some um, soy sauce and I use the reduced um, fat soy sauce. Um, it's uh, called liquid aminos. So now what I'm doing is I'm just mixing in all the flavors. And so basically we're practically done. And this is our cauliflower fried rice. It's still cooking, but this is basically it in a nutshell. So the next meal I'm going to make is the accompaniment to go with our fried rice. And we're going to go straight into our oyster sauce, um, broccoli stir fry. So I just want to go ahead and tell you all the ingredients I'm using. I'm using mushrooms, cabbage, and um, broccoli. Then I've also got some onions. And then for my seasonings, I've got my oyster sauce. I do want to give a disclaimer. Oyster sauce is something that you should be very uh, careful how you use it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pour some water. And then we're going to add our soy sauce. We're going to add sesame oil. I'm literally going to take a dollop so you can have you can see how much I've used because I really don't want to overpower it. This is something called cooking siren or cooking sake. And so you can see how much I've poured onto my spoon because I was afraid I don't want to make it too much. So then you just mix it with the water. OK, it's already kind of a, the pan's already hot so I can get started. So I've got my onions and I'm going to add that first whisping away. And all I want to do is just add my usual, literally a drop of salt and pepper. And the reason I'm even scared to add too much is because I've already got my marinade, so we don't need to do too much. Now, the next thing I'm going to add is my mushrooms. Add the veggies, add the cabbage. And so it's, as I'm mixing it, it's like getting dry, obviously, because there's not much water. So that's fine. Once it's started cooking, all we have to do is add our marinade. We've been cooking this for about two minutes and you can see, can you see how beautiful and green the broccoli is? And you can see how everything came out. So now, to be honest with you, you're actually done, but it really comes down to, you know, your preference. I personally like my vegetables very crunchy, so I don't leave it in for long. So basically now that our vegetable stir fry is ready, I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate my uh, Chinese meals. As you can see, I have my like fried fried fish. Um, I just pre-seasoned it and I left it in the, uh, in the air fryer actually. And I just left it there till it was to my desired um, level of crispiness. So here is our final product. I'm so proud of this. You guys, doesn't it look very Chinesey? So we've got our like fried fried fish, we've got our shrimp basil cauliflower rice, and we've got our stir fried um, broccoli. Fish is delicious. Fish tastes so damn good. I'm gonna have some rice, and I want a prawn in there as well. Mm -mm -mm. really delicious. If you want to get more about this recipe, please subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Snapchat, and we will be posting the recipe that will link to show you um, how we did this. So thank you so much. Keep on rocking with us and please stay tuned. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.